Hi, I'm Dave and welcome back to Brentec IT Support. Today, this video is brought to you by Lazy Spa. They're sponsoring this video and giving us the underwater rechargeable vacuum cleaner so we can clean the bottom of our Lazy Spa hot tub. And this looks like it's going to be really easy and convenient to use because even though we sort of have a shower before we get in the hot tub and we've got a ducking board so you can keep our feet clean, there's still dirt and grit that gets in which you don't want getting into your filters and it's a bit heavier so it doesn't really get filtered by the filter, it just generally settles at the bottom. And so this will actually clean the bottom of the hot tub, making you a much nicer, cleaner and more comfortable experience. Well, we'll get on with the unboxing. Okay, well, let's have the unboxing. Be always be careful when you open any packaging that you don't cut yourself or damage the contents. Also, I wouldn't recommend doing this on grass. I'm just doing this so they have a nice background. First of all, we have our charging cable, one pole, two poles, set of instructions, a adapter nozzle, which has a self-closing filter flap, the base cleaner plate with some nylon bristles to help remove any dirt or any slime out, or it might help also to remove a little bit of algae that might have built up, but hopefully you're keeping your chemicals topped up so algae won't be a problem. That'll just help brush off the bottom and direct things into the scoop. And then we have the unit itself. So first of all, what we want to do is we want to get our adapter. So you want to have that facing down so that the weight of the water will help push that close, which will stop dirt from returning back in once you pull it out or turn off the vacuum. Get the vacuum, have it that way so that that's facing down and insert and you should hear it clip in and then it's locked in place. We want to open up our bag for the vacuum. And in here we have our filter, which is a fine mesh metal filter, which is really good, really good. That's going to cap capture loads of small particles that have unfortunately managed to find their way into your lazy spa. And then at the bottom, down there, we've got our impeller. So you've got your impeller down at the bottom there, which will suck the water in through the filter and then eject clean water out of both sides. So rinse that out underneath your tap. And if you do get anything in there, just rinse that out under the tap as well. And so to assemble the pole, just slide that one into there. Now these can come with an outside cover, so you'll want to take that off first. So you screw that in down there, and you've got that ready. And then take your clip, slide it in, give it a little twist, you'll hear a click. And then after you're charged, you're good to go. Now the instruction manual is actually quite comprehensive. So if you're ever unsure, always read the instructions to charge. What you're gonna to need to do is open up your charging flap, get your USB adapter, plug that into any USB charging brick. And then there's only one way you can put this in because it's got a key system push that in there, plug that into your USB charger, and that will charge in about four to five hours for your first charge, and that will give you about 15 minutes runtime. Okay, we'll just plug the charger in and plug it into a USB outlet, and we can see it light up red indicating that it's currently charging. It will take about four to five hours for the first full charge cycle, at which point the light will then go green. And here we can see now that the light has gone green. I actually think that was less than the four hour mark that they were saying, but as soon as it's green, we're good to go. So we'll just unplug that. And the light goes off because it's unplugged. And then we'll need to put it in the water before we turn it on. Make sure before you put it in, you get the plug fully in so water doesn't get in there. Reattach the handle and as long as this is fully submerged, you're good to go. Um, I don't know if it will do any harm if you run it out of water, but obviously being an impeller, it is meant to be submerged, so do try and remember that when using it. Okay, so we've got it fully charged now. Actually, the bottom of our hot tub actually looks quite clean, but if you look closely, you can see a few bits. So we'll turn this on and give it a good clean. So we will just put it just in the water and turn it on and you can see it squirt the water straight out. And just a very simple press along the bottom. And I'll zoom in so we can see what the bottom looks like. I'm hoping you can see the larger part 
that's just over there. I don't know what that is. Some paper or something that might have got in. That sucked it straight up. I do hope that camera picked it up. This is nice and easy. It's completely quiet when it's under the water as well. So when you take it out, if you tip it, it water's going to come out there in the dirt. So before you tip it, make sure you've sure you've got it outside the hot tub just in case anything does get through, and you can tip it down your drain. Obviously, don't tip it over your motor, but we do just have a drain just here. And then when you're ready to open this, be careful to make sure you don't drop out the filter. Now this will be easier to do over a sink or over a bucket or something, but just take that out and you can rinse it out under the tap and you can then just rinse the inside of that out as well um, under the tap. Because obviously you can unscrew this and rinse this under the tap. You can see that the grit and dirt at the bottom has been collected by the filter, which is very impressive. I know we haven't got much dirt in there, but we didn't have much actually in the hot tub in the first place, but it is doing a good job at collecting it. And that's gonna make cleaning and maintaining it and much, much easier and also keeping the pump safe. That's wonderful and really do like that. And here we can see the very fine particles that the filter has trapped. So that is brilliant. We're really gonna be able to keep this clean with this. Now, this demonstration probably isn't showing it in the best of light because our tub was quite clean. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, do a mock-up in a little foot spa and you can see how much dirt this actually picks up because this is incredible. Now, I'm not saying you should do this because this could damage the impeller because I'm deliberately going to hoover up some sand, but I think this is amazing and I'm sure it's going to be okay for a small amount, but I'm going to exaggerate this so you can see the suction power. Okay, this is one you definitely shouldn't try at home. I've deliberately put sand and gravel in the bottom of our lazy spa. You want to try and keep it out as much as possible, but if it does get in, this vacuum will get rid of it and I'm confident it will, so I'm actually testing it with this. I'm sorry Lazy Spa for putting it through such a harsh test, but it does do the job. So you'd never get that much sand in and grit in one place in your spa, hopefully, but if you do, power it on. And just one slow, gentle pass and it sucked it all up. This works so, so well. And this time we can see the amount of dirt that it's trapped in there. It is incredibly efficient. The mesh is fine enough. It allows the water to come through easy enough so you get a lot, good lot of suction to actually clean the debris off but fine enough, it catches the small particles that are in, can get into your spa. Very impressed. And here we can see some of the sanding grip that's been trapped in the nozzle, which did not return into the spa because of the one-way valve just inside there. So that works very well. See more sand and grit and debris that it's trapped. Obviously don't em empty it over your hot tub because it will just go back in, but Hopefully the camera is picking up all the grit. And you can see all the grit that it's collected. Very impressive. It's an interesting, amazing product. It works so well. So thank you very much guys for not only uh, sending us one, but thank you very much for making it. This is gonna make spa maintenance so, so much better. It's brilliant. Really, really can't recommend it enough. I know they're not cheap, um, I have actually in the previous year bought a much cheaper one which was water powered and never put it together because it's a whole bunch of bits and then you've got to get the hose out. This is so simple to put together and even easier to use. If it wasn't for making the video, the most complicated thing would have been taking it out of the box and that was easy. But using it, piece of cake, results, beautiful clear bottom. The, the brushes on here are going to scrape any algae um, that builds up if, if you don't maintain it too well. This will allow you to be that little bit more relaxed. Obviously, you do want to maintain a good regime of pool of spa maintenance 
we make sure you keep your chemicals correct and your water clean. Do, just do the standard maintenance and these will last a nice long time and you'll get lovely, lovely summer enjoyment out of them. I do hope you found this video helpful and enjoyable. If so, do give it a good thumbs up, like, comment and subscribe. As always, take care, have a nice day and bye for now.